All right, hey, the sketchbook's back. Boop, 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 boop. What are we going to do today, Miss Kushner? What are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to do a Christmas drawing, and I thought we would have some fun, and maybe... What is it? What is it? What is it? <gasps> we'll do Rudolph taking a selfie in front of a house and a Christmas tree. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Okay, so let's turn it so you can see what he really looks like here. Because we, oh my goodness, all the eraser thingies. We are going to be drawing horizontally today. So our sketchbook is going to go sideways when you draw. So now let's take a look at these big shapes we have. Easy cheesy, man. I've got some circles here for eyes. I've got a great big U shape for his nose and his antler has some zigzags and some rectangles. Here's this horizon line. The horizon line puts space in our picture. It makes things look like they're farther away and things are closer up front. So we're gonna draw a background back here. Nice cheesy smile on my reindeer. Is he Rudolph? No. Why not? Because he doesn't have a red nose. No, no, no. Now, does yours have a red nose? He might. Might be Rudolph. Might be a girl. I don't care. Whatever. Let's draw. Let's draw. Let's go. You ready? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our eyes on our paper. Look where they go. And then we're going to draw our big U shape. We're going to put in our smile and our nose and our ears and our antler. And then we'll draw the background, okay? All right. Let's get started. Get a pencil? I got a pencil, Miss Koshner. Do you have an eraser? I do. You're gonna need a Sharpie. I got a Sharpie. And some crayons. Oh, crayons. Yes, crayons. Use crayons today so that you can make things darker and lighter with the same uh, crayon. You can't do that with markers. Markers only give you one color. Alrighty, crayons today, crayons. All right, let's move this reindeer. Nice clean page with all kinds of possibilities. All right, two fingers. Poke your reindeer in the eye. Where are the eyes gonna go? Boink! Don't put them here. We're putting them off on the side. Boink! So this is one eye, this is the other. I'm gonna draw the pupil first. Then I'm gonna draw a bigger circle around it. Very funny cartoon eyes. There's my other pupil and a very big eye around it, right? Now, my reindeer is very close to me. That's why he looks so big, because he's very close. Now, let's draw this big U shape. It's gonna start above his eye. It's gonna come around close to the bottom, and it's gonna go to the end of the paper over here. So it's gonna start above his eye, come down and around, and then over to the side. Ready? Give it a try very lightly. Above his eye, and down and around and then up here. See how I didn't put my hand down, I put, kept my arm up, moved my whole arm. All right, let's give him a little nose. Now my other nose was too big on my drawing, so I'm gonna make a little tiny nose. Down here, make my cheese face. Make my reindeer look like he's smiling and showing me some teeth. I'm gonna put a little U shape here. And I can draw some straight lines here to make teeth. But I don't want to leave it just one line. I'm going to put another line right next to it, like his lip, all right? Now, one last thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a piece of our reindeer's neck. It's going to come right from here to the end of the paper. That's it. That's all. Do I see the whole reindeer? No. Our reindeer is too, too close to see the whole body. All right, let's come up top. Up top here, let's do some zigzags. Down and up. This is the hair on top of our reindeer's head. Doink. I'm going to bring this side down. I'm going to draw a piece of a triangle for his ear like that. I'm going to draw a piece of a triangle for his ear. And look where it touches right there. Okay. Uh-oh, but Miss Karshner, you don't have room for your antlers. That's okay. They're going to go this way. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna bring right behind my ear, I'm gonna come up, just cross it there. Now I'm not gonna draw through my ear, I'm gonna hop over and I'm gonna draw a line and then I'm gonna go up and down. I'm gonna go out a little 
and I'm going to go up and down again. I'm going to go down a little, and then I'm going to end it and come back. Oh, I don't like where it touches right there. I don't like that at all. So I'm going to make a little lump down and back up. I don't like where it touched right there on the corner. That wasn't looking good. Okay, so there's my antler on my reindeer. That's good enough. It's cute. The antler goes the other direction. This is an easy, fast drawing. Now, let's make the background. The background is going to be the little house and the tree. We'll put a little hill back here, too. Start adding things of interest in the background. Think about where is your reindeer. So we need to draw a horizontal line, not down here, up here. We're going to draw a horizontal line, and that is called the horizon. The horizon means that the sky goes all the way to here and the ground starts. Where the sky and the ground meet is called the horizon. So now I can add a building back here. Maybe instead of just being a house, maybe this is Santa's workshop. Oh, well, Miss Gosh, no, that is kind of a neat idea. Well, thank you. How, what does it look like in your head? What does Santa's workshop look like? Does it have a bunch of windows? Don't make them too tiny because we're going to be using the Sharpie in a minute. Are there a bunch of windows in Santa's workshop? That's up to you. You don't have to have this many windows. I'm just thinking, just thinking, maybe a chimney. Okay, now we can add a pine tree and then the pine tree, I'm gonna make it look like it's gonna start like an arrow, like it's pointing up like the top of a uh, triangle. And I'm gonna come in just a little bit, zoop, on one side. I'm gonna make this tree look like it's behind the house. So I only have to draw one side. That side's done. Now I'm just going to come right down on a diagonal to the ground. Zoop. Look at that. It's a tree. You could add ornaments to it if you want to. Maybe these are lights. You could add that to your tree. Make them big enough because we're going to trace them with the Sharpie. The Sharpie is going to help you figure out where your lines are. Now, last thing we're going to do is to add a hill back here. I'm going to add a hill. Can you see my line here? I know I went over it lightly. You might not be able to see that. Miss Kajda, how come you have gotten distracted? Well, you know, it's Christmas. I got Christmassy things on my head. Okay, so I'm going to draw a hill back here. And it's going to stop when I get to my house. And I'm going to pick it up on the other side. Here's the secret reason I'm doing it this way. Are you ready? The secret, this ground, I'm going to keep white. So the more stuff I put back here, the less sky I have to color. Because remember, this horizon is where the sky touches the ground. But there might be a mountain or a tree or a building or something in the way. So when you go to color, you don't have as much stuff to color in. Right? That's all I need to do. Look, right there. Ta-da! Now, if I wanted to make this a girl, I could add eyelashes on her. But Miss Kirsten, I do not want mine to be a girl. Well, then you don't have to do that. You could leave yours alone. Right? Right. Okay. So, Sharpie. You're going to Sharpie all your lines. <clears throat> when you're finished tracing your lines with the Sharpie, go ahead and take your big eraser and erase out all of the pencil lines that are not supposed to be there. I am so close to the bottom of my paper, I'm kind of making a mistake. So go trace and then come back and see me when all your lines are traced and your um... <laughs> pencil lines. Oh my goodness, pencil lines are erased. All right, bye. All right, so did you get them all your pencil lines erased after you got everything traced? Got all the eraser shavings and stuff. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, scrub it really good. Make sure it's nice and clean, clean, clean. Okay.
Okay, now let's talk about coloring. We're gonna use crayons on these. Oh, Miss Custer, but I like to use markers. I know, but with crayons, you can get more than one color out of a crayon. So we don't wanna have the antler and the head the same color. So if I use crayons, I can press harder and make a darker brown, and then I can color lightly and make a lighter brown. Ah, okay. So, start with the tiny things first. Are your lights on in your windows? Maybe. Maybe there's some lights on. The elves are working in the workshop. Work, 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 work. Uh-oh. Maybe some of those lights are not just yellow. Maybe they're yellow-green. Oh, I like yellow-green. It's so close to yellow, you almost can't tell. Now, I'm going to put some ornaments or lights, whatever they happen to be, on my Christmas tree. Now, I'm not going to just do one color because I don't like that. I like multicolors of lights and ornaments and stuff. But that's up to you. Miss Koshner, I only like blue lights on my tree. Ooh, that's so close. Then only put blue lights on your tree. It's your tree. I'm not going to be mad at you. You do what you need to do. You do your Christmas tree. I only like pink. Well, then put pink lights or ornaments on your tree and make them all pink. <laughs> okay, so now this is my little girl one because she's got this nice little nose instead of this gigantic, too big of a nose that I put on that one. Um, okay, so we're still coloring small things in. That just made me look at her and go, oh, that one's so much better. See, the more you draw, the better you get. So I'm going to color in the tree, go around, go around, go around. Always start with the smallest things first. Don't start with the big stuff. You might get carried away and go right around it. In class, when you're in school and you only have a short amount of time, you want to color the little things first. So it looks like you got more done than you really did, but you just were coloring little things along the way. Make you feel better. You have to decide what's your house made out of. Is it wood? There's my chimney. Or is it rock? You decide what your house is made out of. I have a gray right here. I might gonna say my house is gray. Your house can be anything you want it to be. The Santa's workshop, right? Is it made out of rock? Is it stone? Is it red bricks? Is it uh, candy canes? What's it made out of? Okay, so then I want you to go over here and do your reindeer. Now this is where I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna leave you with this. Because your reindeer press on the face very lightly. That doesn't mean you're going like this and you're done. That's not complete. You want to make it complete, but go very lightly with your crayon. Don't push hard, just make it shh like a whisper. Right? And you can see where I went over. To fix those lines. Practice. This is your sketchbook. Practice making it look really, really good. So that when you're doing this for somebody and you're like, I'm gonna make Christmas cards that have these reindeer on them and I'm gonna mail them out to my friends. Well, then you've got it perfect because you practiced how to do this the right way in your book. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up here. I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna do this real quick. You go as slow as you have to to stay inside those lines. I'm just trying to do this real quick so that I can show you the difference on how to do your antlers, okay? So I'm coming up to the ear. I've got this little tiny nub of a crayon. It's hard to, it's hard to really color with it, but I'm doing pretty good, I think. Okay, now, oh, my peel is crayon. Stinking crayon wrappers peel them off so I can keep coloring. Okay, now you can see this is very lightly colored. Now with this, my antler, I'm going to press harder back here, okay? I'm going to press harder on my antler so it shows up like a different kind of brown. That's called value. Value means that the color can be light or the color can be dark. How much color is in that color? 
not a lot or a whole bunch. Value, okay? So value is really important to making your picture look interesting. Don't color everything hard like this. Don't color everything soft like this. Pick some like this and some like this. Once you have all of this little stuff done, then you need to come back in and do the sky. Now, the reason I told you to make that horizon line up here is that all of this is gonna be snow and you don't need to color it because your page is white. And that hill, that hill can be white too, but you will need to color everything else up here and even down inside that little spot right there. Even this down inside here. This is gonna be sky in between here. Alrighty? All right, so don't forget, color the sky last. But look, it's not very big, right? Don't forget to sign your name at the bottom, today's date, the date that you drew it. I would love to see them, please. Let me see what you did. Did you do something else with yours? Did you turn them into Christmas cards? Let me see them. Okay, I love you. Have a great week.